it's like 2 a.m. I'm hella tired. Hi. Had a fresh trim, so I feel good, but something missing. I feel a bit scruffy still. Bear with me. It's much better. So, my uni project is called Extra Large, and the brief is based upon the Birmingham market. So, started from small, and I was trying to find my way through things, and uh, it wasn't going that well because, you know, I was going in a direction which I did not like. Um, I was just finding my way. But I've realised one art. I'm very fascinated upon it, and that is fragmentation. So I found my way through that and ended up reworking my way in into that topic. The main focus will be upon fragmentation. What I'm going to do right is go to Birmingham Market for first. I'm going to pretty much document the, the atmosphere, the vibes, you know, talk to people, the community in there. Um, focus on um, my work with my previous works you know which i did for small medium large and how i got to where i got to um mostly self-assess you know self-reflect also speak to other students see what they did with their project what direction they went what media they used what influenced them and kind of take that in and try and implement it upon my work maybe see if i get inspiration maybe get influenced by it also um pretty much try and find out how i'm gonna do my final piece right now very nerve-wracking only got three weeks to do this and i'm pretty scared but we'll see how it goes so let's get straight into it right now i'm at the market so I'm gonna have a look, you know, give you a vibe of uh, the environment of the area where all the people are pretty much just a light vibe about it. Hopefully um, I could interview some people, but I'll try my best. understand totally people are shy i get that um i tried to ask some workers but they weren't in the best of moods that's all i can say they were like oh i'm very busy i can't do it i can't really you know uh, force anyone to do anything but um the best i did pretty much was just to get a footage of you know everyone the vibe the atmosphere that's all i can do pretty much footage is footage at the end of the day so yeah that's about it <clears throat> so I was thinking about this and the footage when I went to um, Birmingham Market wasn't the best um, kind of disappointing it was dry um, people wasn't very interactive unfortunately like I tried but people didn't want to be on camera you can't really force nothing so I realised something I did a um, uh, recording with my cousins via our YouTube channel this summer. It was basically, we went Birmingham Market, right? And it was something to do with a food challenge, but we were at the Birmingham Market to try and get fruit. But we interacted with um, the people which worked there and it was great. Here's the footage now.
my town area and we're gonna look around and see any local supermarkets and uh, we'll see if we uh, get some brunch, get some yeah. from the... What's that? That's the shop. Right, so we've made it back to the market. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna ask, like Ram said, ask and you may receive or we might just see how much it costs for just one single banana. Because normally the market's cheaper mm -hmm. than supermarkets, so we'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's go, Tom. Good one. How much are these bananas? 154 a kilo. How much is it? It's all white, so you can have as many in order as least you can. How much is just one banana? Right now to the right. So it's about 154 a kilo. 69 pence a pound. What? Is there one banana? 34 pence. Is there not anywhere we can get it cheap? Basically, I'm just talking about 154 a kilo. If you have one banana, a bunch of bananas, yeah. that's what I'm No worries, mate. Sir. Yeah. Other guys say that can be a bit fishy. So we're just going opposite to the next one. It was Shut more up. expensive. It's 34p. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Insane, it's 22 p So what is the point? The market's cheaper. The market's cheaper. Um, and this banana's green and smaller as well. But I ain't paying True. You might as well think that right there. <laughs> Come on! Can we have one for free? No, one more on 18 pounds. <laughs> no, this is a 10 pounds. No, one more on 8 pounds. 10 pounds is not my 8 pounds. 10 pounds. Just one for free. Just, just one banana. That's it, we just That's all we want. Just one banana. That's it. Just one arm. Oh, you know what, I really shake your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, brother. So, if you saw in the last food, they were trying to sell one single banana for one pound and then I said how much is the pack for one pound so he was like what the heck and then he raised the price at ten pounds yeah yeah he's having, he's having jokes man you know, he's having jokes what did Ram say Shannon? what did Ram say? you sh shall not ask <laughs> alright so this brings us to our segment of um, interviewing other people's work seeing how it goes You've got to keep in mind everyone's different in these interviews that you know, some people are shy, some people are outgoing, quiet, loud. But I'm just, it's a challenge for me to try and make everyone comfortable and get the best out of them. So let's see how it goes. Mate, you suffer right here. But tell me, mate, what's your work about? So basically, thanks a lot for the whole thing. Pretty much just like the whole thing, talk about how All it right, works. So you know? basically, um, I started off with bunch of things for Birmingham market but then obviously I moved it on to stuff about war in it yeah. so then obviously Birmingham was involved in World War 2 yeah that moved on to the Birmingham Blitz stuff uh, like that and then I was just messing about with anime characters that I really like because they were involved in war like pain from Naruto oh, okay, yeah, okay. then obviously for the extra large I was like okay then because Joe was like just try and make your own anime character instead of using other people's art. I was like, okay then. So then I moved on to the major era of Japan in it, so a different yeah, thing. There was three types of war during that era. And obviously I was like, okay then, I'm gonna create my own war hero because there's fictional war heroes such as Rambo, Captain America. Yeah. So I was like, say, I'll do it, put him in there and make him like, make it seem like he's like a peaceful figure. So I've gave him a reverse blade sword which shows that obviously he doesn't kill so his blade isn't sharp it's blunt oh, that's, that's magic though. so when he fights people they're not gonna they're not get gonna caught get they're gonna caught. just yeah, get yeah. bruises and stuff obviously i didn't really give him any powers because i just wanted him to be like a master swordsman so he's obviously got the godlike speed he's master swordsman and he knows what to do with it yeah. and he's still young so he can still grow but he's looking he doesn't fight but like, because he likes it, he fights because like, he, if he needs to protect someone, he will. Obviously, I put like cherry blossoms and stuff like that in my work because- um, that from Japanese culture as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because it like, like it just represents, it looks peaceful. It does, it does. So yeah, like, yeah. it makes it seem like when he's there, it's like, it's gonna be okay, it's peaceful, and it? I did feathers in to show that, all right, because feathers can show all well, its freedom. Yeah, freedom, so, yeah, it's all war. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. magic, you know? That's so it. it's crazy how, like, it started from Birmingham Market, but you did through war, and it's gone out to something you like doing, which is pretty sick. 
Yeah, man. But like, obviously, just show the camera like, what you're working on right now. So this is the character you were talking about. Yeah, this yeah. is the character. He isn't finished yet. Um, but this is how it's going, man. I like That's the colour black, so. You know what? That was a mad one. Appreciate it, bro. Anytime, my dude. So guys, I'm with Samara here. We're going to talk about herpes. Let's talk about medium and large. How's that going for you? Um, well, my piece is based on animal text testing. Okay, yeah. Uh, the medium, I basically came, collaborated with the classroom. Okay. Um, I did an illustration of a perfume bottle and then turned it into a series of posters. Um, which then I decided to kind of bounce off that and go straight to um, animal textures right, first. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm think, and I looked at taxonomy as well. So I'm thinking of basically doing a collage of different animal textures and fur that's kind of surrealist. That's awesome, you know. So how does it link with the Birmingham market? How did it begin from there? Um, well, when we went to visit the market, we noticed that there was a lot of cosmetic stores okay. and um, a lot of cosmetic brands text on animals. So that's kind of like... Yeah, okay. So, obviously, how was it when we first started the project? Was, the, was there any difficulties? Um, yeah, I didn't quite understand the project at first. Um, I started doing small illustrations as things that were actually at the market, but then I kind of thought to myself, I need to focus on one thing to oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, for my first piece, I, I exib exhibited a um, mixtape made out of cardboard. Yeah, as yeah. a cardboard hoodie. Yeah, that's awesome. Right, so like, on the first few pages, it's sent with the perfume. They look pretty cool. I was wondering if you could show it to the camera. A few um, of those, they look pretty cool. Yeah, this is Posters of the perfume, and then we actually photoshopped it and made a milk bottle as a kind of GML um, poster to raise awareness of how GML um, affects food. Um, we also did a wrapping paper and we kind of just experimented with the different layouts and the different types of colour. That's awesome. You are, your project's looking great. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you. So guys, we've got um, Eli with us. How are you, mate? You feeling good? Yeah, I'm all good. Right, all good, so uh, just want to know what your project's, is, project's about, mate. So. so, obviously our project's about the Birmingham market. Okay. So I decided to do, well, at first I was doing the evolution okay. of like, market and trading, but then I sort of like changed my idea halfway through. Oh, okay. So then I was just elaborating more on what I did previously. Okay. So the first thing I did was so I'm just yeah. So the first thing I did was um, I made a little wheelbarrow. Uh, That's awesome. So yeah, yeah I made yeah, the wheelbarrow yeah. first, made that out of clay. Um, but then I went on some different my medium projects, which yeah. was market stalls, which are these ones. Um, and I did that for my large as well. That's awesome. But I made more for my large. So I did like more like yeah. more depth into it. Yeah, yeah I got it. So more I did details. Different stores as well, yeah, like yeah. the meat market, fish market. Fish. Okay. So did like a little market store for selling paints and clothes and bricks. Okay. Yeah. But now for my extra large piece, I decided to go back to my original idea, okay. which was the wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. Uh, so I'm now making that on a larger scale. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's good that you backtrack, look through all your work. So, yeah. Yeah, when you first started, was there any difficulties with your project? See, I, I've i taken three years out of education, so I struggled okay. a bit when I first started. Uh, yeah, more stuff than just getting back into yeah, it. Yeah, I was just getting back into it. But once I figured out what I was doing and how to do it, then it was just plain safe. That's, that. that's fine, bro. Obviously, I, I like how you've laid out the work. I was wondering if you could show it to the camera as well. Yeah. Well, I didn't do it, like, the flaps as well. That looks awesome. Yeah. So, my designs and my annotations. That's awesome. Like, like how you presented that, man. That's awesome. Cheers, pal.
It's blessed. You know what? Thanks a lot for that. Yeah, Appreciate right. it. Cheers, mate. No worries. So I'm with um, Tamina here. Um, so what's your project about? Well, when we started to go to the market, um, our main goal was to find food. Okay. And from that, I kind of wanted like, what concepts that we come up with from that. And I came up with genetically modified food. So that's kind of like food that's been altered. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, so I started off from that. That looks pretty cool as well. These were just some ideas that I did and it was kind of like me having fun okay. about um, have you seen like game cards and like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and yeah, stuff like that. Oh yeah, so it's it's awesome, that's like, awesome, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So it was supposed to be like a bad reaction to food, like processed food that we have every day, so like pizza, fries. Oh, fries, yeah, um, sick. Burgers, stuff like awesome. that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing you get the inspiration when you were going through the market and you see yeah. all the food stores and it's awesome. So obviously from your start of the project, I've been asking most people this, was there any difficulties? At the very beginning, the there very was beginning. difficulties because I didn't understand the oh, project. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think I was really struggling with our ideas at the very start of the school. Okay. That's all we have for uh, Tamina, so thanks a lot for that. Cheers. So we've got um, Callum with us right now. I'm going to ask him what his project's about. So, bro, what's your project about, man? Uh, basically, I'm currently doing an animation based yeah, yeah. all around the markets. So and just trying to tie that in to what we're going to produce from our final piece. Okay. Uh, originally, I've been thinking to do an animation. So yeah, I've been looking at a few of them. Let's see. see. Like the uh, designs, ones that actually planned out a storyboard, but I thought because I don't want to spend so much time on the animation because you gotta make everything yeah, and then yeah, move yeah. it, and then yeah, there's such a lot yeah. to do for so little time. I'm just gonna make a um, either a comic book, it's like large, a large comic strips basically, so it'll just be like probably A3 for like each strip, like each section of the comic. You know when you first you were thinking like, oh, okay, it's Birmingham Market, and did you have the de did you have the idea of doing comics at the start, or did it evolve? No, into no, I only um, I've only decided to do a comic today because oh, okay, okay, yeah. of how long the animation is taking, and I am only just learning, so yeah, yeah. it's just whether I can even create to like, the sort of quality that I would want yeah, to, you know what I mean? But. Um, no, no, I thought a comic, because I've already got my story and everything there already, that would be a, a much easier way for me yeah. to like, yeah, yeah, visually yeah. communicate what I'm trying to, like, yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to yeah. communicate, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, it does. Obviously, I like, like some of the timelines you did, like, uh, storyboards. Might as well show it to the camera, like, what you're doing. I, look, I think it's very interesting, man. It looks sick, I'm not going to lie. A lot of sketches, a lot of annotations. Regardless, man, your project's looking hard. Like, it's gonna look good, man. But that's pretty much Callum doing for us. I'm gonna try and find someone else as well. Peace yeah, for it. Yeah. <laughs>
It kind of did. It looked like a segment of the inside of the orange, but it was white. So I just decided to call it an inverted orange. Last minute, like inverted orange. But regardless of that, what happened to that year, I can't find it. Like, I had it. It's my fault. I was meant to put it in the locker, right? But I didn't. And it's gone. I think someone threw that in the bin as well. And that's kind of saddening because I really liked that orange, man. I was proud of that orange. All right, enough for the orange talk. Large. This was a good one. This made me get to where I am now. It was a starting point. It's basically posts, blog posts on my Tumblr. Link here. Check it out. Of, of little snippets of my work progress. Just little ones. It wasn't nothing big. But it was a start so it was literally just a digital version of my progress so kind of dead so yeah i have nothing physically to show but photos links and that's about it so yeah kind of peak <clears throat> So guys, it's been a good journey, good documentary. So you're probably thinking, you need a conclusion. You're thinking, Ralph, where, where is your final piece? You did not even physically make one. Like we did not see any footage of you coming with a final physical piece. You hear me out here? You're looking at my final piece. Right now what you're watching is my final piece. <sighs> what? Let me explain. So. My project was based on Birmingham Market, yes. Where it originated from with the fruits and everything and how it led me to where I was. Okay, check. My theme was fragmentation. Okay, Ram, how does this got to do with fragmentation? Is the kicker, mate. Every little segment I had, my previous work destroying it, coming to a new, you know, journey, interviewing other people, how their work's going, going to the Bar Birmingham market and trying to interact with the vibe and the theme all of that is segments just like a physical piece the segments are the fragments together makes this video right any of the segments they wouldn't have made this video so yeah that's my final piece so probably thinking two things now but wow mind blown you're smart as hell Fair play to you, lad. What are you thinking? You're round, you're just, you're just chatting shit because you ain't done no work and you're trying to think of an excuse. Think of it how you want, mate. This is my final piece, so I really do hope you did enjoy it on a level. It was fun doing this. I realised um, oranges aren't for me. So, anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I was going to say, please subscribe to Send YouTube. Alright, peace.